What's going on guys? BSD Spear here back with another Destiny video. In today's video we're continuing our series Lost Exotics where we're showing all the newer Guardians and maybe even some of the older Guardians uh, how to get some of the exotics from year 1 and year 2. In this video, uh, as you can see here, I'm using my sword. We're going to be showing you guys how to get the legendary sword um, and how to upgrade it into the exotic sword. Uh, especially since if anyone's running Wrath of the Machine Raid, uh, you know the sword is one of the best weapons for Axis. Uh, so we're going to be showing you guys how to do that. This is going to be a two-part series, uh, mainly just because there's a few quests involved for the legendary sword, and then there's a few other details uh, involving the exotic sword. So as always, drop a like if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you're new here, and let's get started with how to get the legendary swords in year 3. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to complete the Regicide story mission. This is the first, or the last mission, sorry, uh, for the Taken King main storyline. Um, if you don't complete this, uh, then you can't unlock the next mission, and then you can't move on with the quest. So make sure you do this first. Alright, so once you have that completed, uh, you're going to get a bundle of new quests, especially if this was your first time completing it. Uh, the quest you're looking for is the Vanguard's Hand. Uh, now what this is, you basically uh, go into the Dreadnought and you have to set up patrol beacons. Um, and doing this mission will actually unlock the patrol mode on the Dreadnought, which is what we need uh, in order to uh, get the materials we need to get the sword. So once you complete this quest, um, or this mission, I mean, uh, you'll move on to the next step. Alright, so after that, you're going to want to head back to the tower to talk to Eris Morn, and she's going to give you a new quest called A Broken Will. Um, and basically in A Broken Will you have to form the blade uh, that you're trying to collect. In order to do that you have to collect Hadium Flakes. Hadium Flakes are uh, a planetary material found on the Dreadnought. Uh, you can only find them uh, from opening chests. Um, so you're going to have to actually do a little bit of farming. Uh, so I went ahead and showed you the farming route that I use. Um, and show you some key locations that you should check. Um, that way you can hopefully get these uh, hadium flakes in not too much time. So I'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit, but uh, just check out where you can see uh, the chest. That's what you're looking for. You need 25 hadium flakes uh, to complete this quest. This can be done anywhere really on the Dreadnought, all you have to do is find these chests. Uh, so if you wanted to do, you know, strikes or story missions or stuff like that while you're farming these, that's totally fine. Uh, what, what I usually do is just hop into patrol and follow this path um, and uh, you'll get at them in no time. Uh, as long as you don't have someone that's in patrol with you just kind of grabbing your chests out of order, um, then it doesn't give them enough time to respawn at the next one. So. Just to get just a little heads up there. So in total, um, completing this route in the whole breach, uh, you can get about five or six um, hadium flakes in about three or four minutes, roughly. Sometimes more, sometimes less. It really just depends because it's it's completely random. Um, so just anytime you see one of these chests, definitely uh, pick it up. Uh, and I'm just pointing out some of the really easy spots to easy areas to spot the chests um, like basically any any of these little caves um, can spawn one of the chests um, and then even the caves underneath here um, that have like the the key specific chests those ones also have chests as well that you can open up um, so just keep an eye out if it says collect loot go ahead and collect loot and you'll get your hadium flakes in no time all right once you've collected all 25 hadium flakes Go ahead and return back to Eris Morn, turn in that quest, and then it's going to take you over to Lord Shaxx. So that's going to actually uh, complete the quest to get the Legendary Sword, which is the first part of getting your Exotic Sword. So as you can see here, uh, you'll have Void Edge, Arc Edge, and Soul Edge available. Um, you can choose one of them. Now, which one you choose will determine which Exotic Quest you attempt for. So if you want the Raze Lighter, choose the Soul Edge. If you want the Dark Drinker, choose the Void Edge, and if you want the 
the bolt caster, which is the arc edge. All right, guys. So there you go. There is a quick uh, run through on how to get the legendary sword. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be showing you the second part, which is the exotic quest. Uh, the exotic part takes a little bit longer, but I don't have the footage quite ready yet. Um, so that's kind of why I had to split it up into two parts. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And thank you so much for everyone uh, that supported this channel so far. We are almost hitting 2,000 subs. Uh, in just a couple of months, uh, just like four or five weeks, I think, actually. So that's fantastic. Uh, keep up the good work. Welcome to the Spear Squad. Thank you so much. And uh, in the next video, we'll show you how to get uh, the exotic swords, the Raze Lighter, the Dark Drinker, and the Bolt Caster. Until next time, I'm BSD Spear. Time out. Peace.